<laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go right on and tell you about a really important study that was done years ago. It's a classic in social psychology. It was done at the Princeton Theological Seminary with the divinity students. They were told they're going to give a practice sermon. Half the students were given as their topic the parable of the Good Samaritan, the man who stopped to help the stranger in need by the side of the road. The other half were given random Bible topics. Then they're told they uh, had to go to another building and, and give the sermon. They went over one by one. And as they go over, each of them passes a man who's bent over and moaning in pain. And the question is, do they stop to help the stranger in need by the side of the road? Answer, well, actually, the more interesting question, does it matter if you're thinking about the Good Samaritan when you pass? Answer, pretty much no. It turns out a bigger factor was the time pressure they felt they were under. And that's kind of the story of our lives, isn't it? We have so much to do, so much to think about. There's a kind of a spectrum of attention that runs from just focused on our own preoccupations. I've got to do this, I'm worried about that, I'm thinking of this. And what we're noticing is not much around us. And if we don't even notice the person by the side of the road, bent over in pain, we can't get to the next stage, which is a tuning, tuning into that person. To, if we tune in, then we can empathize, we can sense what, how they feel. If we're, we might even pick up that they're in need. And if we're predisposed to help someone in need, then we can act in a compassionate way. But if you don't take that first step of noticing, you don't go down the path to compassion. Mm -hmm.